Welcome back to 49ers Sack High Sports. We continue tonight with our second Sun Power Electric game, and it's a big matchup in the Sierra Foothill League. The Granite Bay Grizzlies are on a hot streak, winning their last two games to go to 4-1 and one on the season. And Granite Bay taking on an Oak Ridge team looking to get back in the win column after a tough loss to a good Folsom team last week. The matchup is our second Sun Power Electric game. Mild-mannered Mark Willis has it covered. That's right, we got a great one for you tonight. Granite Bay and Oak Ridge. Both teams can run the ball as the Grizzlies will look to junior CJ Herring to carry the load. As for the Trojans, they also can run the ball as well, but what might make the difference is their quarterback, the kid they call Touchdown Jesus, Maddox Valera, who has thrown for over 400 yards this season. So it's the Grizzlies and the Trojans in the Sun Power Electric Game of the Week. They call it the running of the Trojans as the student section from Oak Ridge took the field to fire up the students. But what was really fired up was the Grizzlies running game. First play, CJ Herring takes the pitch and gives it right to Dominic Soares who takes the reverse and picks up a big chunk of yards. That was set up this play as CJ Herring makes one cut and the blocking was just on point. The 24 yard scamper into the end zone just like that, 7-0 Granite Bay. Okris drives right down the field from 11 yards out. Maddox Valera looks at his big target, Reese catching, whose sure hands hauls it in off of the deflected pass for the touchdown. Game tied at seven. Still first quarter, and the Grizzlies would answer right back. This time, Noah Mitchum goes to the air and connects with his tight end, James Stabbert, and the senior bust down the field. That led to this one-yard scamper by Herring, and Granite Bay pulls ahead 14-7. Granite Bay with the ball late in the second quarter, looking to add to the lead, but right before the halftime, Connor Dashman was having none of that. So under 30 seconds before halftime, touchdown Jesus had to go to work, and he does that. He throws a 10-yard strike to catches, and this game's tied at the half. At halftime, Oak Ridge shed some light that September is Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month, and the Trojans have two student athletes dealing with cancer of their own, both named Bryce. So it's Bryce Strong, and the school was able to raise over $3,000. Very nice. In the second half, the Trojans came out firing as Valera connects down the sidelines to Ketchings, who gets up and hauls in the pass. Trojans would kick a field goal. Then the Trojans get the ball back after a muff kickoff return. That led to this 35-yard field goal by Carson Nichols. Oak Ridge builds a 20-14 lead. But Granite Bay would answer right back with Mitchum. Great play fake. He throws a pretty ball to his tight end. Once again, Drain Stabber, who makes a juggling catch in the end zone. Grizzlies lead at 21-20 with only seconds left in the game, and the Trojans have one last chance, but the Grizzlies defense clamps down and secures the win. Hearing had 199 yards rushing, and we caught up with him after the game. We came in, lots of mistakes at first, but we started picking it up. We started grinding really hard. We started driving the ball down the throat, and that was really just everything we needed coming in we knew that if, if we could just drive the ball down the field we could get the win 